Tomorrow, three amateur athletes from right here in the Valley will compete in one of the toughest one-day sports on the planet. It is by far and away. Eric Svons, Sue Mino, and Carlos Mendoza all qualified to compete in the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii. 3TV's Tyler Baldwin shows us what it took to get there. Some people like pain. Some people like to suffer. These three must love it. All three Valley residents are racing this weekend at the Ironman World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. It's a dream come true, without a doubt. It's very magical. I get goosebumps when you say that. The race is a 2.4 mile ocean swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and a 26.2 mile marathon. And it's hot, really hot. But to get here, you have to train here in the Arizona heat. For me, it's been a struggle. I've thrown up on the side of the road a couple times. I've been on the side of the road with shakes. I've been dizzy. I've been completely out of energy. I think we're at a huge advantage from the heat that we train in here that helps us when we go there. So for the last year, these three have been getting up before the sun, swimming, biking, and running thousands of miles for one magical day. For me, it's been something I've wanted to do for probably 15 years, and just timing's never been right. I have a lot of people who will ask me, how many miles did you ride today? And I say, well, 105, and then I ran for 40 minutes, and they're like, I don't even like to do that in my car. And, and it may be magical, but it's going to hurt. When I'm doing it, I'll be smiling the whole time. Even it, it, it'll be a grimace smile, sometimes in pain, but it'll, it'll be, it should be fun. Like 90 miles on the bike. You just want off. You know, you're done, but you've got 22 more miles to go. Well, I am worried about the heat on the run. Um, everybody says it's like a sauna. It's like a sauna here. So I think, again, I'm prepped pretty well. So this Saturday, all that preparation will be put to the test in the lava fields of Hawaii. The question now, how long will it take them to finish? A funny question came up yesterday, and, and, and somebody said, well, how many days does that take you to do? Um, and then you say, oh, you know, hopefully between nine and 10 hours. And they just kind of look at you funny and you just kind of smirk and laugh and move on. It is hard to believe they can get it done in less than a day, they isn't it? In fact, there's a cutoff point. Once it gets dark, they start pulling them off. Uh, photojournalist Todd Martin, he put that story together. We want to thank him for that. We also want to wish Eric, Sue, and Carlos all the best tomorrow.